Wow, has it really been one year since the last time? Uh, I mean, yeah. welcome to Slush 2013. It's amazing to see too many people to fit into, a ca into the cable factory. I mean, I, yeah. I can't say how many times we've been asked the question that how the hell are you going to fit 5,000 people in the same space? And well, today we're about to find out. Yeah, yeah and I, I think that it just shows that, uh, of course, uh, we can do anything. So I think that's uh, Slush is a very good example of that. And, and it's really, really great. We had kind of like this breakfast discussion earlier today. And, and uh, then kind of like when you start thinking about kind of like what's been going on since 2008 when we did uh, the first Slush, it's been amazing change. I mean, we had two, 300 people at the first Slush. And OK, now we're probably like close to 6,000. We stopped the ticket sales at 5,000. But I, I think that we could easily have sold another 5,000 tickets. So uh, yeah, we come. Uh, quite a long way since, since the start. And, and also what is, is uh, really uh, great to see is kind of like the diversity. I mean, I think we have now, uh, kind of like from Russia, we have 400 people, lots of startups. We have uh, several companies from uh, China. So uh, again, a lot of people from kind of like this neighborhood, Northern Europe, Russia, China. So uh, it's really uh, uh, yeah, great to see, see you all here. And I have to say it's been a bit of time from 2011 when I remember that our biggest stress was that how do we get, we were not even worried about the budget, we were worried about whether there will be enough people and we did mm -hmm. anything we could, anything and everything to get everyone here. And we managed to get some like 1,000, 1,500. And yeah. looking this year, I mean last week we were selling like 300 tickets per day in the last days and we had to close the ticket sales that okay we reached 5000 plus our organization by the way we have 750 people working here 600 of whom are volunteers give them a <laughs> big hand <laughs> Woo! yeah and and i think this is actually a very important point here that uh, if you look at slush uh, it's the world's largest community organized uh, event so uh, again slush is a non-profit event it's for startups, by startups. So uh, we're not kind of like in this to kind of like uh, try to extract uh, you know, uh, money out of startups, but really here to kind of like give startups a platform to get their message out. And we have some amazing startups here from, uh, from the region, and a region meaning Northern Europe, Russia, and China, so it's like a big region. But uh, I think that uh, it's, it's really a, a great example of the kind of things that we can do together. I mean, we have uh, hundreds of volunteers, as we just heard, but it's again, these guys are not getting paid. They're here because they want to contribute. They want to be part of the community. They want to be engaged. And I think that's something that is really, really fantastic. You don't have that anywhere else on the planet. So, uh, so it it's really makes Slush the biggest community-organized startup event anywhere. So again, it's a good start. And well, for us, I mean, we talk a lot about the size because the size is the metric, the single metric that differentiates you in the global scale, that how big are you? But for us, the size has never been a goal. It's more of a tool to get the right people together. And during the next two days, I hope you will be able to encounter a lot of small compositions, be it in, you know, with investors, be it with companies from specific industries, be it something else. So that's something that we really want to make happen. And for us, I mean, looking at the future, uh, I think we're about big enough now. So we really yeah. want to focus on providing as much value as possible to the companies. Because in the end, this event is only about helping the next generation of great companies, you know, get, get driven, you know, get to, get to international markets, raise funding, get covered in international media, and eventually create wealth. Yeah, and I think what is very interesting that, uh, again, I was talking to, to some of the investors kind of like last night and then kind of asking them that, okay, uh, you know, <laughs> what do they expect from the event? And uh, yeah, they told me that they, they are kind of like expecting to find the next Angry Birds. And I think that uh, you will. So, you know, like, don't worry about that. But, but I think it's, it's actually very interesting if you look at what has been happening in this region last couple of years. I mean, all the biggest media companies are now from this region. I mean, yeah, we made Angry Birds. We have uh, people like Spotify here before us. Uh, I mean, Skype emerged from kind of like this slush zone as well. Uh, Supercell was launched uh, in 2011, actually on stage at Slush. 
and I'm sure you heard about those guys. And uh, I think that there's, of course, there's a long tr uh, tradition of creating amazing technology, amazing companies here. Uh, you all heard about Linux, MySQL, Nokia, you know, so there's a lot of uh, uh, interesting things that have emerged here from, from kind of like the slush zone, if you will. And uh, one thing that I, I'm personally very excited about is that if you look at the diversity of the companies that you'll see here, it's very different from kind of like any other startup event that, I mean, how many startup events do you have where you have uh, companies, startups working on radiation technology or, you know, like rocket science for real? I mean, there's, there's uh, uh, a lot of uh, very, very cool uh, technology, cool companies, and they're not working on, you know, like all working on various like uh, social networks and web services and stuff like that. But there's like super diverse uh, set of companies. And, and that's something that we're very, very happy about. And of course, a big uh, reason for that is that we happen to be in a location where we have, you know, Russia and China, like right next door, and of course, then all the tradition here in Northern Europe of creating things like Skype and Linux and, and so on. So uh, uh, you can expect to see many, many more uh, companies like Rovio and Supercell and Skype and Spotify to co uh, come out of this region because what is happening now is that uh, uh, we are in this kind of like very virtuous <coughs> circle where more you know, success will come out of the success that we've had so far. So again, it's a good start, but you can expect to see amazing new companies emerge here from Slush and some of the next, you know, Angry Birds and, and these kind of things you will find here for sure. And before I welcome our dear Prime Minister of Finland, Mr. Jyrki Katainen on the stage, I would just humbly like to say on behalf of Peter, myself and our amazing team that we all hope that you have an amazing slush 2013. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Let's give a big hat to Jyrki Kaltaide. Okay. Thank you very much, Peter and Miki. This event is really an outstanding event. 2008, when this was first time held, there were, there were only 300 participants and this year as we heard here are more than 5,000 uh, participants and it tells that this really is an interesting extraordinary event and bigger than any any other event of this kind last year I heard very good stories from the companies from startup uh, companies and from investors also people found each other here. And there are always nice things happening. Last time when I came here, my nails were painted. And after this event, I went to government's meeting and, and my colleagues were looking at, okay, you have a new style. All, all, all the nails were in different colors, but uh, it just gives a positive impression on the, on the spirit of this kind of event. So ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Team Finland, I would like to invite you all also next year to Slash event, which may be even bigger event than, than this year. Team Finland means that the Finnish government, all the Finnish uh, players, companies, our public financiers, all public uh, sector workers who are working for the companies are put together in order to keep good and more efficient surrounding for investors and for companies who are interested in, in Finland. I would like to say a couple of words about our country from value point of view. Uh, Finnish values are education, it means investments to human capital, equality, it means welfare, opportunities for everybody, and it, the third value is global openness, which means that we are in favor of free trade, for instance, and we are in favor of, um, of global open uh, spirit in our country. We are not probably the biggest country in terms of subsidizing businesses. Quite the contrary, actually. We don't believe in subsidizing businesses. Of course, we have our own instruments also uh, in order to encourage 
investments and um, in order to encourage um, private capital to leverage. But uh, we believe more free trade and keeping our society as a society which is open for new ideas and it is stable and uh, trustworthy. So that's why we are com concentrating more on the issues which keeps our society competitive in global scale. We, for instance, lower the corporate tax rate from 26 to 20 in order to improve our competitiveness. We are paying more attention to universities. We gave more autonomous position to our universities in order to give more freedom to universities to create something new. And this slash event is partially as a result of this, this um, policy. So as I said, we don't believe in protectionism. We don't believe in subsidizing businesses. Instead, we believe in global openness, competitiveness, human capital, and uh, exchange of uh, different ideas and, and tolerance. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to see you all here. The events like this gives us hope. I mean, as a political decision makers, this kind of events gives really hope. Because uh, this is a strong message for us that there are positive things going forward. In the middle of economic crisis, in the middle of a downturn in economic cycle, there are still talented people, there are entrepreneurial people who believe in the future. And the events like this, they are basically the events in which human capital, uh, entrepreneurship, and the spirit of changing world meet each other. So I wish you enjoy this event. I wish you get good contacts. And also, I wish you could find something new from Finland as a, as a good surrounding for growing business and as a surrounding in which innovations are in, in uh, inno innovations can, and grow and you can create something new, e either with the Finnish partners or, or with the foreign partners. So once more, very warmly welcome here.